greetings to you in the matchless name of Jesus Christ and thank you for joining yet another episode of Life Coach. So we are in a series of uh, 60 episodes where I would love to train you to become a life coach and also that you enjoy abundant life like never before. So that's the aim of these courses and today we are in episode 15. I want to talk to you about how you need to be careful about guardian lies that are planted into your life. Guardian lies. So, I want you to turn to a scripture uh, that is given in John chapter 8, 44. John 8, 44 says, You are of your father, the devil. And the desires of your father you want to do. He was a murderer from the beginning and does not stand in the truth because there is no truth in him. When he speaks a lie, he speaks from his own resources for he is a liar and the father of it. So there is an originator of all lies. He is known as the father of lies. His name is the devil, Satan, Lucifer, whatever you want to call him. He's got a habit. His habit is spreading lies. His habit, right from the beginning, from the book of Genesis, he has lies. He is full of lies and he has got the habit of spreading lies. So he is known as the father of all lies and you need to be careful. You and I need to be careful because in the previous class we saw that if we believe in a lie, that lie affects our emotions. So all the source of negative emotions are basically rooted in lies. So somehow if the devil manages to teach lies to you and me, over a period of our lifetime, not through the Bible, not through the books, you know, through different means. He's got different means to plant seeds of lies into your life and to my life. And some of these lies can affect the way we feel. We behave the way we behave because of the way we believe. And what we believe, our belief system is the root cause of all our emotions. So if you believe in the truth, you will have positive emotions. If you believe in the lies, you have negative emotions. So your emotions are directly related to your belief system and your belief system. Your emotions are directly related to your belief system and your belief system can be full of truth and be full of lies or a mixture of that. And among the lies you believe, today I'll be discussing about the guardian lies that many people believe and many people suffer lack of emotional stability. So because of the type of lies you believe, you can have negative emotions. You can live a life that's terrible, full of depression, full of anxiety, full of fear, panic attack and you can live a life uh, of shame, of lack of self-worth, of rejection because of a multitude of lies that you believe and these lies have been planted by the devil and Jesus says there is the father of all lies, his name is the devil. In John 8, 44 he says there is the father of all lies. And there's a father of all truth, the God, the Father, who through the Holy Spirit reveals the truth to us and the truth can set us free. So what are guardian lies? And how does the devil plant lies into our life? So one of the ways he plants lies into our life is through traumatic experiences. So your experiences can teach you a lot. There are different kinds of truth or realities that are planted into our life. 
One is known as the logical truth. You study something and you get some truth into you. That's known as logical truth. Another one is known as experiential truth. You go through an experience and then you start to believe, start to have interpretation of your experience and then those experiences give you certain underlying principles. And you start to believe in them. Then you can have what is known as revelatory truth. Truth revealed by the Holy Spirit. These are the real truth. Truth based out of the word of God. So one way the devil plants lies into you is through your traumatic painful experiences in life. Another way he plans is through things told by people in authority. When your dad or your mom or your brother or sister or teacher or somebody you love tells you something, that you start to believe, then that becomes a guardian lie. A guardian lie is a master lie and you'll have a lot of lies connected to the master lie. And that master lie that is, is that I am a pavam guy. A pavam means I am a guy who can be cheated easily. Now right from my young age, I used to be the third in the family. I had two elder sisters and there was a big gap between my sister and me. Almost... Uh, six years and three years of gap between me and my sister. And being the first boy, I was brought up as a very simple boy in my house. So it so happened that my mom used to say, I'm going to a mama in Malayalam. It means he's such a simple guy. He's a guy who can be fooled and who can be cheated. And I've heard this, my sisters say, everybody say, is such a pavam guy. And because of that, and I started to believe that's what I am. And when I grew up, people could cheat me easily. I knew I'm being cheated and I'll allow people to cheat me just to fulfill that prophecy over my life that I am a pavam guy. Now, that's a guardian lie. God doesn't want you to be fooled. And much later in life, when I was suffering, I was going through Mark 7, and I read a verse which says that it is a grave sin to be foolish. God wants you to be wise and not foolish. So foolishness is a great sin. And if foolishness is a great sin, how do you account for believing that you are a pavam, you are a simpleton, you are a fool and you can be easily fooled. Now, I believed in this guardian lie because it was told to me by my... So, how are guardian lies planted in your life? How are they planted? They are planted by the devil through your life experiences. So when you go through a traumatic life experience, when you go through a fearful life experience, when you go through a shameful life experience, when you go through a guilty life experience, when you go through an a accident or a death or a, a horrific dream, we don't know. When you go through an abusive situation, when you are abused physically, sexually, when you go through these kind of experiences in life, especially early in life, you come to conclude certain interpretation of that incidence, which will be known as lies. And you can come to conclusions within deep within your spirit. And this happens mainly before the age of nine. 
मे बी एज ऑफ सेवन एंड दे लाइव इन साइड ऑफ यू एस गार्डियन लाइज यू बिलीव एंड दीज आर प्लांटेड बाय द डेवल समटाइम्स थ्रू एक्सपीरियंस समटाइम्स थ्रू कमेंट्स पीपल पास समटाइम्स थ्रू वॉट दे टेल यू फॉर एग्जाम्पल इफ समबडी हैज बीन रिपीटेडली टेलिंग यू गुड फॉर नथिंग यू आर गुड फॉर नथिंग एंड इफ दैट हैपन्स टू बी अर डैड और योर मॉम दैट कैन बिकम अ गार्डियन लाई दैट यू बिलीव जस्ट बिकॉज ऑफ द वर्ड दे स्पीक so it all depends upon how and when they speak and what they speak and it can be from your teacher in the school you can be very good in one subject and you can be weak in another subject and that particular teacher doesn't like you and says all kind of things about you and whatever they say those lies become embedded into your subconscious mind embedded into your heart embedded in deep into your spirit and those lies if you believe can become the root cause of your negative emotions and there are some of these lies which are very fundamental which address three aspects of your life number 1 it's all about acceptance it's all about love and you can have a opposing factor to love is rejection you can you know that particular statement can make you feel rejected abandoned left alone orphaned so if early in your life your father or your mother has died you can feel like an orphan and if both your parents have died you can believe that you are an orphan and you can believe in a guardian life that says i am an orphan now the reality may be that you have lost your dad and mom and you believe in that statement i am an orphan but the truth is not that there's no offense here everybody is loved by god so that's the truth you have a real father and that father doesn't die his name is god the father now that's the truth but you don't have to believe that you might believe in the lie so some of the guardian lies that human beings believe is one i am not loved i am not lovable i am not worthy to be loved nobody loves me i am all alone i am at abandoned no somebody can leave you alone for some time and you can feel all abandoned your father mother can have a fight and a divorce and they have a fight and one they have a strife and one of them leave from your life and then you start to live with a single parent either your father or your mother and then you feel so orphaned so abandoned so cheated so these are the kind of guardian lies that come under the category of acceptance the second type of guardian lies is that i am not significant i am not important so you can be brushed aside by your friends or your brothers or sisters or your relatives or your parents you're not given significance you're treated like a nobody and then you start to believe that i am a nobody i am not important i am not significant i am good for nothing people can pass comments over you and you can start to feel and believe that you're good for nothing it questions your self worth or you compare yourself with your dad or your mom or your 
somebody in your family who is so significant, so important that you feel so insignificant. Or people compare you with your brother or sister. Let's say you have a brother or sister who is extremely good in studies or in something and they are given all the significance, all the clapping, all the appreciation. Wow! Beautiful child, but and then you are compared. Look at that person, look at your brother, look at your sister, look at your cousin. They are so smart, they are so good, but you are good for nothing. And this is repeated. So your brother, sister comes and they get first mark in class. They get a cup for running. They get an appreciation. And you don't get that. You get depreciation. Not appreciation. And you know, they pass comments about you. It can be that your brother or sister is so fair, so good looking. And you are an ugly duckling. And comments are passed about you. Look at your skin. And these are issues of significance. Are you significant? You know, the truth is that in God's eyes, each person is precious and significant. But you can believe in a lie that you're good for nothing, you're not significant. I used to believe these lies. My two sisters were very fair. And my two sisters, if you look, they're so pretty. My mom used to be fair. And when I walked with them, I was of dark com complexion. And I started to believe that I'm not good looking. Whereas my sisters and my mother, they're so good looking. So when I started to believe, it pulled down my confidence. When dad, uh, mom and two sisters, we go out as a family, they'll all go in the front. I'll never walk with them. I'll be walking 10 steps away. Mom used to say, hey, come, why are you walking far away? I don't want to be part of that because I believe I'm not good looking. This is what I used to believe. That, that is a guardian lie. Now I believe I'm precious and I'm handsome and I'm uh, beautifully and wonderfully made. What is the guardian lie that you believe with regard to your significance? Another important area where we start to believe lies or truth is in the area of security. So first one is acceptance, second one is significance, and third one is security. We all want to be secure. We want to be in a secure home, secure environment. Safety is something that every human being searches for, safety and security. So whenever you have situations, traumatic experience of insecurity, then fear creeps in. Fear, panic attack, shock, all these creep in. When your security is removed. And as a young child, you are more secure with your dad and with your mom. And to be in their presence. And when you are taken out of of that situation, you have insecure feelings. And you can give insecurity an interpretation. So I know a person who is 50 years old, but he cannot sleep when the lights are off. He feels very insecure when you put lights off. I know another person who cannot get into a lift. The moment all the four doors closes, he feels fearful. Panic attack. Some people are very fearful. They feel very insecure. If, they take, if you take them on a high mountain or a building and you look down, oh, they get fear attack. I know another sister who cannot take a flight. The moment she gets into a flight, she gets panic attack. 
she has got insecurity issues. There is another lovely daughter of mine who, spiritual daughter, who the moment her husband raises her voice, hey, she feels totally insecure. So we are going to look into some sample type of lies, guardian lies that you and I can believe. Number one, I am just not good enough. I am just not good enough. Number two, I am stupid. I am good for nothing. I am good for nothing. Number four, I am worthless. Number five, I am abandoned. Number six, I am all alone. All alone. Number seven, God doesn't care for me. Number eight, God wasn't there when I needed him most. I cannot trust anyone. My heart is not good enough for God. I am not worthy to be healed. God doesn't love me. Nobody loves me. I am unlovable. I am not important. I am insignificant. You know, these are just a few sample lies that you believe. And you have to go back to your memory bank to find out what situations happened and what are the lies that you started to believe and what are the lies that the devil has been planting into your life over the period of years. Even, you know, some of the lies can be planted as you grow up as an adult. But the guardian lies are mostly planted before the age of nine. And uh, you need to go back to your memory and find out. Number two, you need to take responsibility and say, yes, I own up. It is true that I believe in this. You have to own up your situation and say, take responsibility and say, these lies I've been believing and this is nonsense. So the realization that you believe in certain lies is the first step towards healing. And the more number of lies you believe, the more instable your emotional life will be. You can become an emotional wreck by the lies you believe. So if you have a very dominating, a condemning, a strict dad or mom or a brother in your life, my, somebody who comes and punishes you, Somebody who is so performance oriented. He wants you to come first in everything. In the moment you are second, oh, it is as if you come last. If somebody is so dominating and threatening to you, these threats can make you very insecure, stressed up in life. Early in life, people can go through stressful situations early in life and they can give all kind of interpretations to that situation which become guardian lies embedded into your system and they can affect you. So, my brother, my sister, I want you to take a journey with the Holy Spirit. A journey with the Holy Spirit and go into this lovely journey. I want to pray for you. Father, in the name of Jesus, we want to expose the devil who has been planting lies into our life. Right from the time we were conceived in, my, in our mother's womb till today, the devil managed to plant lies. He is the father of lies and he planted many lies and some of them are guardian lies, like solid rock 
they are embedded into our system expose every one of those demonic activities and the lies we believe deep in our spirit or in our hearts expose them by the power of the holy spirit and let us know the truth and the truth will set us free love you daddy bless the people who are learning this in jesus name amen